Hey, for Sig Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. Got some behind the scenes footage from day six of the high frequency training program that we began last week. So this is our second week on the program. It's an upper lower split. We're in the gym six days a week. So upper lower, upper lower, upper lower, day off. Uh, if you've been following along, the first upper lower portion of this uh, this program was focused on the moderate rep range and we utilized myo reps during that portion. Second portion, upper lower split, was focused on strength training and we utilized cluster sets there. And now we moved on to the third portion of the upper lower split and that is focused on high rep training and we are using 100 rep sets and drop sets. It was a killer upper body workout yesterday. Today is a freaking awesome lower body workout. Your hands and glutes are gonna be feeling this for the next day for sure and you're gonna need that day of rest tomorrow to recover, rebuild, and get back at it for next week. Enjoy this footage. And here I am kicking things off with 100 reps on the sumo deadlift. The weight was a little light for me today. Uh, I think next week I'm gonna be adding about 20 pounds and see how my body responds to that. Ideally, you wanna select a weight that allows you to perform about 20 reps on this initial set, leaving about two reps in the tank. You definitely don't wanna be going to failure on this um, or even complete fatigue there. Um, otherwise, you're gonna require a lot more rest between sets and we really wanna keep these rest periods to 10 seconds. Now between the 15 and 20 reps here, your glutes are gonna be cramping, your hamstrings will be really feeling this. Uh, it's a pretty intense first set. But again, leaving a couple reps in the tank there. Resting for 10 seconds, you're gonna do as many more as you can, rest for 10 seconds, as many more as you can, rest for 10 seconds and keep going until you hit 100 reps. Uh, because the weight was nice and light, I was able to do 20 no problem in my first set and then um, sets of 10 all the way through until I hit 100 reps. Ideally, you're probably looking at 20, then 10 for maybe a couple sets, and then it might cut down to eight and seven, and then your last two sets you're looking at five reps. This definitely gets the heart pumping. Your glutes and hams are going to really be feeling this. And uh, so you're just doing those 100 reps, and you're gonna move on to drop sets with dumbbell reverse lunges. We're aiming for 12 to 15 reps each set. We started with 60s and we dropped by 10s. So we did 60s, 50s, 40s, and 30s. And this was definitely, definitely intense. You want to challenge yourself with this first set here of 12 to 15 reps. And we selected a weight that allowed us to do 12 reps. Any more than that uh, with the 60s would have been uh, excruciating <laughs> and tough to handle. So we're going to get to 12 reps each leg, drop that load, move on to the 50s, and then do 12 to 15 reps. I find the second set is just killer because you're sucking wind here. It is, this was very demanding cardiovascularly as well as, um, I mean, you're really feeling the glutes and hamstrings from those 100 reps of deadlift. So very challenging, just taking a, a couple seconds there to catch my breath because it is very, very demanding. Just giving a brief second for those glutes and hams to recover just very briefly and then get right back at it. Really trying to keep that form consistent, keep the tempo consistent. It's very easy to adjust your body position and feel it in different areas. Uh, I really like dropping right down where my knee is just barely over my toe and uh, getting a good overall involvement between the quads, hams, and glutes here. Notice I'm basically keeping that body position <clears throat> the same, just slightly leaned forward. My knee is always going over the exact same spot, trying to keep things as consistent as possible between sets. This is getting excruciating at this point. This is just killer. It's just a nasty, nasty set. <clears throat> just barely getting through this. The 40s didn't feel quite as bad as the 50s did. Um, and then drop it down to the 30s. I was able to get 15 reps with the 30 pound dumbbells, but just a, just a nasty, nasty set. I'm telling you, between the 100 reps of sumo deadlifts and the four drop sets there with the reverse lunges, your legs are going to be smoked. You're definitely gonna be feeling it over the course of the next two days. And you're really gonna need that uh, that day off after this workout. So taking a day off tomorrow, then we're hitting upper body the, fi uh, the following day and then back to legs after that. And your legs should be recovered by then. Uh, that's a delicate balancing act by doing this higher frequency training 
the upper lower, upper lower, upper lower, uh, really trying to manage that volume with each workout so you're able to recover um, between there, but challenging enough to make sure you're breaking it down and uh, getting that solid training in there. So here we got Rick doing some, it's kind of like a hanging knee raise, but it's the ab coaster there, so your body is supported. Feels very much like a hanging knee raise, but a lot more stable. Um, can really hammer out a lot more reps here. We just got 10 pounds a side. Uh, really enjoy that movement. So once again, aiming for 20 on that first set and then uh, 10 seconds resting. Keep going until you hit 100. Same thing here with standing calf raises. Trying to select a weight that allows you to do 20 reps on this initial set. This is the weight I used last weight, last week and I did get the 20, but um, I really pushed out those last few reps I, and it just caused too much fatigue and I really had to cut back my reps um, a lot sooner than I expected. So here at the 16th rep, I was feeling it, feeling that fatigue. It's like, you know what, rather than push through, I'm just gonna stop at 16, keep the rest nice and short. And I believe this next set here is able to get in eight repetitions, is able to keep eight reps for a little while before dropping it down to sets of six and then sets of five. Um, ideally, I think next week I'll go just a little bit lower so I can hit 20 on that first set. Hope you enjoyed this footage. Hope you enjoyed the plan. See you next time.